Hello gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And in this episode I'm going to try to show you how to hook up uh, the natural gas power generator to get some power going. So first thing you'll need to do is find on your map uh, one of these natural gas geysers. They look a bit like the, the water or steam ones, but they put out natural gas, which is this kind of orange stuff. So it may be covered with um, slime and you want to carve out an area for the gas to kind of build up in. The bigger the area um, that's kind of below the geyser, the more natural gas pressure that can build up. So right now you can see it's around 10 kilograms for each square, 10 or 11. And you'll want to airlock this room so the natural gas can't get out. You'll probably want to airlock it before you start carving it out. And I'm using a bit of an exploit here uh, where you c the dupes can run under this airlock. Though eventually they're going to fix this, um, in which case you'll probably just want to use an, two airlocks with a bit of a gap in between, and that way the gas won't float out. And natural gas tends to sink, so you'll see the polluted oxygen at the top here. So once you've got a room for the natural gas um, to build up in, you'll want to build a gas pump under the plumbing. and I'm going to build it at the bottom of the room because the natural gas kind of sinks to the bottom. And then because I have other gases in this room I'll also want to build a gas filter which you can, once the room is completely natural gas, you can probably just disassemble it, but for now I'll just put one in. You can rotate this uh, with O. So I'm going to put it right beside here. And you'll want to c uh, use gas piping so the this gas pump will suck up whatever's in the room and then you'll take the gas piping and you'll put it into the gas filter so uh, from here into here and then um, once the gas filter is built you can change the setting I'll, and I'll show you in a sec so now we've got the filter built and we can select the gas that we want to come out the kind of orange exhaust here. So I'm going to pick natural gas and then we're going to set up some more gas piping. So the natural gas output I will put along here and I want to lead it out of the room. And I'm going to lead it up here and we'll, we'll hook this up to a natural gas generator in a sec. And the other port is everything else, which will be polluted oxygen, which we want to lead out of the room as well. Otherwise, it'll just build up in here again, and well, we won't we won't eventually get pure natural gas. And I might actually just lead it down here and have a exhaust vent there, which is under gas vent. and then both of these need power so I'm gonna, well before I hook that up I'm gonna build our actual natural gas generator so under power natural gas generator and I'm gonna put it right here and we need to put uh, mesh tile underneath it so I'll put some mesh tile along here and the reason for mesh tile is that the natural gas generator it takes natural gas as its input and it has uh, a few outputs so it outputs CO2 gas and it also um, kind of drips polluted water so you want to build it over top of a place where you can capture the polluted water and I kind of have a catchment area here I do plan to expand this catchment area to this whole entire section here so I'm going to end up with a giant polluted water pit like the size of this whole this whole section here but for now this this will be big enough to to hold it so yeah you need mesh tile so liquid can fall through it so now that we have the natural gas generator built we need to put a gas pipe complete our gas pipe which we had here out of granite we want to put it 
as the input right here and then we'll want the output which will be CO2 for now I'm just gonna actually just vent it right here and it'll just kind of fall it's fall down eventually it'll collect way at the bottom of this and we could we could pump the CO2 over into our base where we have a air scrubber which I may do later but just to get it running I'll just exhaust it right here now the next thing we need is a bit of power to kind of prime this system so we're gonna build a manual generator right here add a battery and connect them with the wire probably want to build some tile here actually otherwise this gas will escape now I want to lead our wire down here and hook it up to the gas pump and the filter so now if you hit F7 since it's all connected together now you'll see the gas pump is moving the natural gas into the gas filter and we selected the filter output to be purely natural gas so that's coming up here that'll feed into the natural gas generator and any other gases in this room will come through this other port and come on down, come down, come down here so the reason it's not uh, working right now is that there's no power connected to it and I'm gonna generally for connecting up these natu natural gas generators you want to use the heavy watt wire but you want to be sure that the heavy watt wire is kind of hidden away um, so that your dupes can't see it because it has a really bad decor so usually what I do is I build kind of a column of transformers and heavy watt wire that's hidden away from the base so this whole area over here will end up being kind of our power generation so we can take um, power transformer I usually build them out of gold just in case they overheat and I'm gonna build it right here and I'm gonna connect the heavy watt wire doesn't necessarily need to be gold, it probably won't overheat. But you want your heavy watt wire to go, it can't go through tile, so you gotta either use a bridge or I'm actually gonna build it up like this. So the left side is where the heavy watt wire goes in, and the right side is where the uh, normal wire goes in. So when you when you hit F2 to get the power overlay. You can see in the schematic here, heavy watt wire goes in the left and then the thin wire comes out the right. So it's actually, it, it ran for a few seconds and it dumped its power into this transformer, but the transformer can't hold very much energy. So normally you want to have a few batteries um, connected to the other side of the circuit. And actually, because the wiring here is going to get really messy, I, I want to eventually have maybe five or six natural gas generators along here or at least three and I I'm gonna need three transformers for that as well and the, the small wiring will get kind of very messy in here so I'm probably gonna actually build my transformers up here so I'm gonna actually deconstruct this and just have the one heavy watt wire which can hold 20 kilowatts or which is the output of at least more than 20 of these generators which we definitely will build but so we're going to send our heavy watt wire kind of up, up along here. And I'll probably end up building my transformers along here, up and along here. What's the temperature like here? You don't want to build them in too hot an area. It's probably going to be okay in here. So I'll probably have a, a line of transformers all along here, the kind of the right hand side of the base. And that way I can feed in the, the light wire in kind of an organized way, maybe one per level here. If we tried to feed it from down here, it would just get too messy. There'd be not enough room to have a thin wire for each transformer. So, If you look at decor, well, you can see this heavy watt wire is just terrible. Decor is minus 200. This little guy here is uh, a puffed, and we'll probably be using him in a different episode, but he basically breathes in polluted oxygen and poops out slime and he kind of cleans the polluted oxygen as he's doing that. 
So he's a good way to get slime once you've kind of mined all the slime in the map. So we have our heavy watt wire up to here now. So I'm going to build my transformer right in here. We'll want some tile for that. And you want to connect at least one battery. And you'll want to connect at least one battery to the transformer circuit. And the reason for that is that it'll control when this uh, natural gas generator shuts off once the battery is full. So we can put our heavy watt wire along into the left side and our small skinny wire out along here and then into the base as we need it. I don't necessarily have a use for it yet but we'll probably use it for something down here. So there it goes, it's running. And since this gas is gas vent is overpressurized, it's not uh, it's not functioning. So what I'm going to do is send this carbon dioxide output along here and up up and over to the air scrubber here, which is getting rid of our CO2. We need a gas vent at the end. So n now that the gas pipe isn't pr overpressurized anymore, it's coming along here and it's going to dump right beside the air scrubber and can consume that CO2 as it goes. And generally you can run two to three natural gas generators off one natural gas geyser. Any more than that and it kind of consumes all the natural gas. And I just realized I didn't hook up my battery here. So we want our... You definitely want a battery, or at least one battery, maybe more, on the other side of this power transformer. Basically on the circuit that you're going to use in your base. And I'm actually going to connect this circuit down along here. And disable this coal generator for now. Natural gas clean is a cleaner cleaner source of power. Some people um, make a sealed room for the air scrubbers so they pump all the CO2 into a sealed room and then have one or more air scrubbers in that room. Uh, I tend to just leave them open like this because I want to use them dual purpose. I want to capture the CO2 from the base that falls down and I want to capture the CO2 from the natural gas generator. So it's running now which is good. And eventually this pressure that's at 10 kilograms per kind of tile will will fall as the gas gets used up. Now I tend to build my natural gas generators kind of in a vertical stack and the reason is that it makes the wiring and piping much simpler. Uh, if you try to build like three across, some people build like a grid of three by three by three, the piping gets really kind of convoluted because you're trying to merge pipes and if they don't bend enough they don't merge nicely so I just, I just find building a vertical stack is easier. There's no kind of limit to the room, so... And then the other thing you want to know is that once you've got this heavy watt wire built, you kind of want to seal off this area so the dupes don't, don't go in there anymore because the decor is very, very bad. And it will cause them to have a bad mood. I'll probably do the same thing with my transformers. I'll stack them up, like vertically, and then I can run off clean, thin wires, uh, maybe one per level just to keep things really organized, kind of like a circuit. So I, th I think that covered everything I wanted to cover in this episode. It was just going to be about the natural gas generator and how to hook it up. So get a gas pump, uh, feeding into a filter just in case there's other polluted oxygen in the, in the area. And then you filter out the clean natural gas and send it to the generator. If any, nat if any uh, polluted oxygen was sent to this generator, it would get damaged and they would have to repair it. And then you want heavy watt wire coming off that into kind of one main circuit, which you hide away from your dupes because of the bad decor. And then wherever you want to consume the power, you make a transformer and you lead off a, a thin wire with one or more batteries. So hopefully that helped you out um, if you're trying to get natural gas power running in your base. Uh, if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on future videos that I produce. And as always, thanks for watching.